What is going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create this photo matte photo effect that you could apply. It's pretty much a vintage photo effect that you could do you only using Photoshop, so that's uh, a really cool thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it. When you want to go ahead and do first is open up the image that you want to go ahead and use. So first begin by adding a levels adjustment layer by selecting the option from the adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel. So to do this is very simple, simply go to the bottom right here. And what we're going to do from there is we're going to go over to levels right there. And uh, once you have done that, we're going to pretty much drag this right here. So um, we're going to drag the, the black handle towards the center. So we're going to wash away all the blacks. Uh, or the shadows towards the middle so it kind of gives us a more vintage uh, effect or feel so we're gonna drag it to around 50 50 should do it so I'm gonna just go ahead and put in 50 for that so you can go ahead and tweak the highlights and shadows um, so just play around with that and uh, yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a new adjustment layer but in instead we're gonna go ahead and choose the black and white option so go right here and I'm going to go over to the black and white right here. And once we have done that, we're going to go ahead and uh, leave it how it is. So just minimize this and the opacity, we're going to drop that down to 40%. So go down to 40%. So this will give us a even more washed out effect. So that will be even, uh, it will give it a better look. So that's a cool thing. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create another adjustment layer, but this time we're going to warm up the tones. So to do that, simply go to the bottom and right here on this uh, little icon here, we're going to go over to um, color balance. So go over to color balance and first we're going to go over to where it says tone. It's going to be selected, uh, mid-tones is going to be selected by default. So go over to shadows and when you have done that, we're going to go ahead and increase the reds to 20. So simply drag this forward to, to about 20. This really depends using uh, depends on the image that you're going to be using. So just keep that in mind. The yellow, we're going to go ahead and decrease that or increase it to 30. So we're going to go to 30. We're just pretty much warming the image as you can see. Now we're going to go over to our midtones. So when you go to your midtones, oh, and before you start uh, messing around with this, make sure that you have preserve luminosity checked and this will give you a better result all right so once you have done that uh, make sure on your you're on your midtones and uh, we're gonna go ahead and increase the, the yellow again so go over to 30 and that will warm it up even more all right cool so now we're gonna go ahead and change the blending mode of our color balance to to lighten so we're gonna go over to lighten select that and that's gonna kind of wash out or kind of warm it up the image but you can still see through um, our entire image so like it will interact with the original tones but it will warm up the, the whole image if that makes any sense <laughs> once we have done all of that we're gonna increase it even more so we're gonna add some more golden tones if that makes sense by adding a gradient overlay and to do that we're gonna go over to our gradient tool on the left on the tools palette and it's gonna be right under the eraser tool so it's gonna look like this and if yours is on the paint bucket tool simply click and hold and go over to the gradient tool. Once you have done that, you're gonna click on the very top left and it's gonna give you like a little color option. So click on that once and it's gonna bring up the gradient editor. Once you have the gradient editor window open, we're gonna click this little check mark or this little box right here on the left and we're gonna go to color and you're gonna to have to put in this number. Um, you could really choose your own. It doesn't have to be this, but that's what I put in. So I put in 5B, 3C, 2C, and then click OK. And then for our um, our other color, our lighter brown color, we're going to go and enter E, F, D, B, C, D. And uh, so, you know, give you a second to pause it and come back. So click OK. Click OK once more. And now we're going to create a new layer. So make sure you create a new layer because if you don't, it's going to apply it to our currently selected layer, which is the color balance. So we don't want to do that. So Make sure you open up a new layer and I'm going to name it uh, gradient, no, I'm going to name it golden brown and 
make sure we're still on our gradient tool and we're gonna simply click and drag just like so and cool so now once we have done that we're gonna go ahead and change the blending mode to vivid light so go right here and go to vivid light so it's gonna look like this it's gonna it's gonna increase the effect dr uh, drastically so we're gonna go ahead and decrease the opacity so simply decrease the opacity to uh, I don't know maybe 20 30 percent should be good um, so we don't want to overkill our image as well so I'm gonna keep it around um, I think 30 percent will look good so we go from this to that which is a really cool effect in my opinion again you don't have to do this but if you want a greater effect then you should really do this final step is to add a texture on top of our image because every uh, vintage photo has to have a texture right it's gonna look boring without it so I'm gonna go ahead and provide you guys a download link in the description so you guys can download the texture that I'm gonna be using right now and the texture that I'm gonna be using is this one right here so I'm gonna just go over to file and open and I'm gonna go and select I believe it's on my downloads here so it's dust scratches and texture so we're gonna go over to our JPEG and you could select any of these I per personally I like number four um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click open and then I'm gonna go over to our move tool press command a or command C or control uh, a or control C for on a PC or you could go to edit and then copy and then go back to your image and we'll go ahead and paste it so command V or control V or edit and paste so now we're gonna go ahead and zoom out using the shortcut to zoom out which is command I or control I if you're on a PC and we're gonna go ahead and simply just move this around by the way to transform it press command T or control T uh, and then press the check mark and I'm gonna just move it to wherever I want cool now we're gonna go over to our, our image we go to adjustments and we're gonna go to invert because now we want to use um the black like uh, how should I explain this we're gonna use the black particles on top of our image because it's lighter our image is lighter but if you're using a darker image um, then you'll want to use like something like this I can't really explain the the way textures work but we want to invert it so we could see their particles so now we're gonna go over to our blend mode and we're gonna go over to uh, multiply so now you can see our um, texture so we're gonna decrease the opacity because it's too much I think around maybe 35 in between 35 and 40 percent is good and uh, yeah so this pretty much ends up your result with the vintage photo effect if you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial then please leave a rating below I'll catch you guys on my next video until then stay classy peace out